Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about neonatal screening. Neonatal screening is the secondary level of prevention. This neonatal screening is done for some diseases which are very important for a baby. Most common neonatal disease disorder screened is neonatal hypothyroidism. Neonatal hypothyroidism is mainly screened because if this is missed early in life then the child will land in cretinism and mental retardation. If, if the child with neonatal hypothyroidism is treated early we can uh, easily save the child and prevent the cretinism and other complications of hypothyroidism to occur in adult life. So, screening of neonatal hypothyroidism is very important. Others like phenylketonuria, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, congenital dislocation of hip, GC, glycera, sorry, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency are also screened. First, uh, we will learn some points about phenylketonuria or Guthrie's test. This is the uh, this phenylketonuria or Guthrie's test is the first screening test which was done in neonates. Here the blood sample is collected by heel prick of the baby 7 to 10 days after birth. 7 to 10 days after birth with heel prick we will collect the blood samples and this is negative for the first 2 to 3 days of life so we should not take the samples in first 2 to 3 days this phenylketonuria helps to detect uh, this Guthrie's test helps to detect phenylketonuria along with that other diseases like galactosemia and maple syrup urine disease are also diagnosed uh, with Guthrie's test chemicals like phenylalanine phenyl pyruvate phenyl lactate are detected in this Guthrie's test. This Guthrie's test is a semi quantitative test but nowadays we do not do this Guthrie's test because it has been replaced by tandem mass spectrometry. Then neonatal hypothyroidism in neonatal hypothyroidism most common cause of congenital hypothyroidism is iodine deficiency in the mother is the most common cause of congenital hypothyroidism here the blood sample is collected from cord blood and from that blood sample we will measure t4 and tsh levels both simultaneously and if we find out that the baby has hypothyroidism then we give daily doses of thyroxine for one month sorry by mouth sorry we should give daily doses of thyroxine by mouth this is about neonatal screening thank you for watching my lecture thank you